Hey guys, what's up? It's Alyssa, I'm Missy Funko, and today I'm going to take you on a room tour. Someone asked for this, so we're gonna do it. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm gonna show you my shelving. I'm going to talk about how I built my shelving. I'll talk about my pops and how I organize them. And we'll just overall look at the room, so let's go. All right, guys, when you first walk into my room, you run into this wonderful shelf, which shows us all of my rock candy figures. We have the comfy princesses, and then some more comfy princesses, and then the bottom is my pest dispensers and a few more rock candies. But here they are. Here's some more. We also have our fig cube characters. I have Harley Quinn and Captain America. We also have some fig pins. We have Baymax, and I think Minnie Mouse is around here somewhere. These rock, I feel like rock candy does not get em enough love. Like, I think these are the cutest figures, and I wish I had more of them. So I don't understand why people don't really like them. But here they are. Next, we're going to move over to this shelf. This is my Disney slash music slash random pop shelf. Anyways, this is my Disney slash music slash random pop shelf. The top shelf is my music slash random pops. There's some ACDC, there's the Golden Girls, and some more music pops over there. Here are my Disney pops. We have Nightmare Before Christmas, Peter Pan, Moana, Ariel, so on. Next we have some Soul, some Trolls, and the Toy Story 4 pops. There we have some Mickey, Minnie, Miguel, Frozen, and the Sanderson sisters. And then down below on the last shelf, I have some movie moments, some Disney rides, and like some random pops such as Beetlejuice and the Umbrella Academy. And there's Squidward over there. But there, these have to be my one, a few of my favorites. I love the movie moment pops and like the action pops. I think they're really cute. Especially that Beetlejuice one I think is the coolest. But anyways, we'll move on to the shelf over here. This shelf is all Marvel. Up top, we have our Venomized Pops. The next shelf, we have some Captain America, Tony Stark, Stan Lee, and so on. The next shelf is all X-Men and, of course, my custom Pops by Inky Graffiti. If you guys haven't already checked out his page, you should. He makes some awesome custom Pops. Down below, we have Deadpool and some more X-Men and, of course, the, Mar the Marvel Zombies in the corner. And down below that... I have some more random pops, such as ad icons. We have Pusheen. We have my 18-inch group, some Mickey Mouse, some Bob's Burgers, street art, Batman, and some 10 inches. But there is that shelf once again. Really cool. Next, we go down a little bit lower. There's my golden SpongeBob. Awesome pop. Down on the floor, we keep my 10 inches. Here they are. And, of course, there's Baby Yoda and the pork. On this little shelf right here, I have some mystery figures that are a little knocked down right now. I need to fix them. But we got our toilet ninjas, our soda cats, and our treats and stuff like that. So there's that. Which takes me on to this little shelf right here. Right here we have my Marvel shelf again. This is the smallest shelf I have in my room. We have our Guardians, our Blacklight Pops, Ant-Man, the Ad Icons. For McDonald's, our Thor's in the corner, and so is Hulk. Then down on the bottom, we have my Golden Pops and Spider-Gwen and Loki. So there's that. And then moving on to the biggest shelf in the room. This is, again, the biggest shelf. And I have some sorter boxes up there from where I ship stuff. But this is mainly DC, Star Wars, and Marvel. The bottom shelf is Marvel. <sighs> The bottom shelf is all Marvel, the middle shelf is all Star Wars, then we have some DC, and the top shelf is also DC. Let's take a look. Here is Wonder Woman and the Superwoman and stuff like that, or Supergirl, my bad. And then we have the Breast Cancer Awareness, Joker, Two-Face, Batman, and of course my favorite, Harley Quinn. Down below we start our Star Wars collection with the Mandalorian, and so on. On my baby Yoda's up top. Still waiting on my Valentine's Day ones to come in. I did get the R2-D2, but I'm waiting on the other ones. 
Then this next shelf we have our Marvel characters, the Lucha Libre, the WandaVision. We have Goose, Captain Marvel, Black Panther, and it goes all the way down into Spider-Man. And then below that, we have Game of Thrones. There's some LGBTQ pops over there. Um, we have some more 10 inches and some more figures. We have our Jim Lee collection and then our 6 inches. Um, moving on, something away from pops. Up top on my curtain, <laughs> we keep the meme Spider-Man because he's my favorite. So he shows up on top of the curtain rack. And then over here is where we keep some more figures. My thing, my Avenger set is currently dismantled. I need to fix it. Over here is where we keep the stuff I sell on Whatnot. All these are in protectors. Anytime I ship something on Whatnot, it comes in a protector with a thank you note and a uh, bubble wrap. And, of course, everything's safe and ready to be given to you guys. But there's some of those. If you guys are interested in any of them, they are on my Whatnot page, which is linked in the description below. There's my desk, which is kind of a mess, which is why it is covered up with the Baby Yoda blanket. There is my speaker. This is where I film my TikToks. My ring light goes up here, and that is where I keep my pens up there. Usually it's not like this. Usually it's down there, but it's up there for right now. That's where I keep my pens. Up top, we have my Loungefly Spider-Man backpack and my comic Loki uh, Thor comic that goes with my Loki pop. But yeah, this is where I film my TikToks. Not really interesting, but there it is. There's some packages I need to open. And yeah, that's my room. Now let's talk about shelving. All right, so let's talk about my shelving and how it was made. I built my shelving. I did not buy it. Um, I did buy the wood, of course. <laughs> but all of my shelving was handmade. I didn't buy it like from a store or anything. So altogether, I think it was around $170 for all of my shelving, including the brackets, the paint, the screws, the uh wood everything so honestly i think it was a great price for what i have now the first wall with my disney pops is a four foot board i took the wood we got the wood from lowe's we had them cut it there um we got black stain for it so we had them cut the boards i have a four two four foot boards or two walls with four foot boards one wall with a two foot boards and this wall has eight foot boards. My four foot wall, which is right in front of me, is four foot boards, two brackets on each end, stained black, and then we just sat them on top of the brackets and then we sat the pops. My pops are stacked by fours. So as you can see right here, if you move this one, there's another one behind it. And there should be one right here, but that's for when I get more pops. But they are stacked by fours here. Let me pull out this one. See? There's more pops behind it. So I stacked them by four. I used to stack them by threes like these ones. But of course I've run out of room due to buying more pops. So uh, we now have to stack by fours. But that's okay. I keep it organized pretty well which I'll talk about in a minute. But for all these boards they were pre-cut. Stained black brackets. This wall has three brackets. Two on the ends. One in the middle. And same concept board stained black sat it down boom shelves it was a tedious process but it was well worth it i love my shelving it looks fantastic in this room and i couldn't imagine doing it any other way but now to organizing i organize my pops by let me think by like franchise i guess is what i would say um so this wall behind me is the shelf right here is all marvel this shelf i organize it i don't really know how to explain this so like i put all my marvel pops together but within my marvel pops there's still separation like i put all of my golden pops together and i put all of my lucha libres together put all the wandavisions together and i put all the x-men together it's like that um but like if I have, like, I have Golden Loki, but Golden Loki won't go with Loki right here. Golden Loki will go over here with the golden ones. Same with, I have a Scarlet Witch, which goes along with the X-Men pop. And then I have Scarlet Witch uh, in WandaVision. WandaVision's over here, but Scarlet Witch is over there. Because she's part of the X-Men pops. So I kind of organize it 
depending on like group they're in. Like I have the Avengers beside each other, but still not grouped together. Like Captain America's with Captain America, Iron Man's with Iron Man, and so on like that. Um, all my Venomized pops are together. They're not separated like Groot's not with Groot. Venomized Groot isn't with Groot. He's with the Venomized collection. Um, same with Disney. Like, my princesses are beside each other, but if they have a group, like Moana is beside Maui, and Moana's also beside Cinderella. Um, but, like, Elsa, who is a queen, and even though she should be with the princesses, I put my Frozen Pops with my Frozen Pops. Um, now my six inches, like, I have the horse from Frozen. My horse doesn't go with the frozen ones because it's a six inch pop. I put my six inch pops down here. Same with Sam. Sam is over here with my random pops, but his six inch figure is over here because that's where my six inches go. Um, so it's kind of like, it's a weird organization, but like I understand it. So that's all that matters. Um, but yeah, I organize it like I explained. I organize it by like characters and franchises and things like that and then I have my random pops who are really more difficult to organize like my umbrella academy of course they're all I have all the umbrella academy but they're still not like they're still kind of like random pops so I have all of them together but I also have Beetlejuice next to them because Beetlejuice is just another random pop I have um like the Rick and Morty pops I think I have like three or four Rick and Morty pops and they're beside Adventure Time because that's just random things I have. Um, so just like random pops that don't really have a place in my collection kind of get put in random spots. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. But yeah, that's the organization of my shelves. That's how I built my shelves. That's how I organize my shelves. That's how I do all the stuff that I do. <laughs> but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's probably not the best because I shake. So I'm imagining that this is not the cleanest video. But I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell button that tells you when we post. We post every Tuesday and every Thursday at 1 p.m. EST. 1 p.m. EST. Yes, that is correct. 1 p.m. EST. <laughs> don't forget, if you haven't already, check out my Instagram and my TikTok at Miss You Funko. Both will be in the description down below. Don't forget to check out my whatnot page where I post pops that I get out of mystery boxes that I don't want to keep. And I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks.